All right, the title of today's video is Women Will Mentally Cheat on Their Boyfriend Months Before They Actually Break Up With Him. Now, unfortunately, there's no happy ending with this video. And what I mean by this is if a woman is already in that mindset where she has logged out from that relationship, she has already made her mind up. Therefore, there's no going back. She's not going to want to reinitiate the relationship. There's no way of making the relationship work on the back end, the relationship is done. A lot of men get completely caught off guard when their girlfriend turns to them and says this isn't working out anymore. Their girlfriend turns to them and says this relationship is over, but there's a reason why that girl has logged out. There's a reason why in her mind, she has not been in a relationship with you for months, right? In her mind, she's been practically single and there's a few key reasons for this. The first key reason why this girl has logged out of the relationship is because the sexual attraction towards you has gone, right? You've got to understand that on that first date when you were truly trying to impress this girl, right? When you were at your best, right? In your single days, you kept your hygiene on point, your beard was nicely trimmed, maybe you went to the gym five days a week, right? You had your life together, right? And nowadays, right? Now you've been dating this girl for a while, you're getting all comfortable, right? What's happened? Your hygiene has slipped off. You're sitting on the sofa eating pizza rather than going to the gym, right? Maybe your body's got a little bit fat. Maybe you've got a bit skinny on the other side of things, right? When you fast forward yourself to the current day when you've been with this girl for a while, you start to see the differences. The second key reason is that she no longer respects you, right? You've got to understand that making concession after concession when it comes to your boundaries and always saying yes to whatever this girl says has caused her to lose respect for you, right? It's the little things in day-to-day -day life. Maybe she tells you to do this, maybe she tells you to do that, and you're always saying yes to this girl, right? You need to have some sort of backbone when it comes to the relationship. You need to learn to say no to her more because you're, if you're always making concession after concession, she's going to think that she can push you around, right? And that lowers her respect for you, and therefore, she she thinks she can do better. Speaking of doing better, the third key reason is that her hypergamy believes she can do better than you, right? These tiny little things that you are doing throughout this relationship, these tiny little concessions all build up in her subconscious and they take effect on her, right? She now believes that her SMV, sexual market value, is higher than yours. She can attract men of higher value than her current boyfriend, which is you. However, you only attract lower quality women that are below her now. Okay, you see where these little things start to add up. Now she believes that she can actually do better than you. She's looking at your relationship and going, wait, why am I with this man? When Gary from the bar over there, he's making 100 grand a year, he's got his life together and he's actually looking trim. He might have been to the gym all week, right? And my man sat on the sofa eating a Domino's pizza, getting fat as fuck and just saying yes to me all the time, right? You've got to understand where the line is. At this point, when she's been together with you for a year, two years, and you've just been saying yes, yes, yes all the time, her hypergamy gets the best of her and you fail it. Therefore, she's going to try and look for a better, more higher value man. So you're probably sat there thinking now, well, Tom, why has the sexual attraction gone from my relationship? Why does my girlfriend not respect me? Why does she think she can do better, right? Why have I failed hypergamy? Well, there's a reason for this, guys. The first reason for this is because you have lost the frame. And when you have lost the frame in your relationship, unfortunately, there's just no going back. The whole time you've been in a relationship with this girl, she's been the leader, right? She's been leading that relationship. And it's very difficult to switch from her leading the relationship to you leading the relationship because she's so used to being the leader, right? You've been with this girl for months, maybe a year, maybe three years, and she's been making the decisions the entire time. It's down to as little as, She's been making the decision on where you've gone to eat, 
on your date, right? She's been making the decisions on whether you're going to go out this weekend, right? You've not been making any of those decisions, right? She's been the leader and it's impossible for her to go from that to now take orders from you because she's never done that since the start of this relationship, since the start of your relationship. She has been making the rules. She has been setting the boundaries and you've just been saying yes. You've just been following her. She's also going to take a step back, right? She's going to be thinking, wait, what value does my man actually add to my life, right? She is going to start to see you more as a liability rather than a positive, right? How crazy is that, right? So months before she actually breaks up with you, she's cheating in her head because she's probably thinking about other guys because she's probably thinking how much value those other guys can add to her life as opposed to being in a relationship with you. Another reason why you've lost frame is because you are too emotionally invested and you need her, right? You've got to understand, guys, that to satisfy hypergamy, you must be self sustaining, which means you do not need her, which means if she left tomorrow, you would be completely fine, right? It'd be business as usual, but most guys need their girlfriend, right, to even function. Right? They get so emotionally invested that even just their girlfriend not sending three kisses to them in their good morning message, right? maybe the, the girlfriend just doesn't send them a good morning message, right? that will rock their entire day. Right, they'll be that emotionally invested that their entire day is ruined, right? Because this girl has not sent a good morning text. How crazy is that? Just think about how emotionally invested you really are when one thing your girlfriend does, right, can impact your entire day. Maybe she has an argument with you because you haven't took the bins out. Maybe she has an argument with you because you haven't washed the dishes. And guess what? Now you're in a mood for the entire day. You are too emotionally invested and you care too much. So not only have you lost the frame, right, but you're also now less attractive, right? The majority of the time when you see a woman breaking up with a man, he is way less attractive than he was when she met him, right? Maybe he's put on weight, maybe he's got really skinny, right, as a vice versa. Maybe he now plays video games when he used to go to the gym five times a week, right? He's stuck on Call of Duty or FIFA all day, right, opening FIFA packs, right? <laughs> Thirdly, you, you have lost the mystery, right? She knows where you are 24-7, you text her 24-7, she knows you're at work at nine to five every day, and then she knows what you're doing after work, you're going to the pub, same time, same place, every single day with the same friends, right? She knows exactly what's going on, so you're way less attractive. And thirdly, she's logged out because you've got too routined, right? You've got too set in your ways. You've spent too much time with her and no time with your friends. She sees you do the same thing every day. You do the same thing every weekend, as I said before. You're less spontaneous now, right? So you've made her bored, right? You've planned date nights, Loser thing to do, by the way, stop planning date nights. You're not doing random things that they used to do when you first was dating this girl, right? You've just got boring and mundane and she knows what to get out of you, right? There's no mystery anymore. But how's she actually going to do this, right? How's she going to mentally cheat on you months before she's even broken up with you, right? Well, the first thing she's going to do is she's going to start putting herself back out there, right? The reason why she does this is because she wants to line up your replacement before she ends things with you, right? At the moment, she's in a relationship with you, you're giving her the utmost attention, right? And she needs to fill that void that the breakup with you is going to create, right? So the new guy that she's going to line up as your replacement is going to fill that attention void. And what better way to do this by using Instagram, right? The biggest dating app going. So what's she gonna do? She's gonna post more frequently on Instagram. She's gonna post more provocative shit on Instagram, right? Maybe there's bikini posts, maybe in them nice tight gym, leg gym leggings that you've never seen her posing before, right? She's gonna make her account on public, right? Maybe it was on private before. Now it's public. Now she's got all the boys liking her stories, all the boys viewing her stories, because guess what? She is marketing herself to the new selection of men she is going to be treated with when breaking up with you. Another way she's going to start putting herself back out there is by starting new 
hobbies. For example, having an obsession with the gym, right? Girls going to the gym is good, don't get me wrong, right? They're in great shape, fantastic, your girls should go to the gym. But when significant big changes happen, where a new hobby becomes like an obsession, right? It's all she talks about, it's where she is all the time, right? Where she's got some free time, right? This is a cause for concern because it's her way to reintroduce herself back into the dating market, but very subtly, right? So her boyfriend, you, doesn't realize. Because think about it. If you turn to her and say, why are you spending so much time at the gym, right? You're spending three hours a day, seven days a week at this gym. She's going to be going, well, you don't support my new hobbies, Right, you do support me, right? I'm trying to look good for you. Little do you know, she's talking to those personal trainers, right, who are higher value. She's talking to some guys in there that she's had her eye on for a couple of months, right? And she's lining up her replacements for you. Also, the obvious one, she's gonna spend more time with her girlfriends, right? She's gonna go out more, she's gonna go out to the bars more, she's gonna go out to the clubs more, right? This is an obvious sign that she's starting to put herself out there because she knows she's gonna be ending it with you, right? She wants to get used to being in that single environment again, right? She wants to get back into the mojo of speaking to guys, of attracting the best quality guys, right? What better place to do that with all the single friends at the local bar or club? The second thing you're gonna see your girlfriend do when she's officially logged out is she's gonna withdraw sex, you're gonna have less frequent sex, or it's gonna be less enthusiastic. Now guys, if you're constantly initiating, right, in a romantic sense, you're constantly putting in more effort and you don't seem to be getting anything back, that is a very big red flag when it comes to her checking out, right? She's already checked out. And also, remember when you first started dating, right? And it was crazy in the bedroom. She was constantly jumping on you, right? And now it's like a chore to her. Now she doesn't feel like doing it. Now she's tired on a night. Now she's got work early in the morning when before you was on that first date, she didn't give a fuck if she had work in the morning, right? She wanted to be tired for that shift in the morning, right? If it meant that she gets to sleep with you, if she gets to spend the night in your bed, right? Nowadays, it ain't like that. Guess what? She has checked out. She's no longer in that relationship and she's looking for your replacement. And also, a genuine burning desire has dropped at this point, right? She probably fantasizes about sleeping with other men, unfortunately, right? Maybe it's a guy from work. Maybe it's a guy from gym, a new hobby that she's picked up, right? She's going to start fantasizing about other men in that way. She no longer even finds you attractive when she's in this mode, right? She's already broken up with you. The third thing you're going to see a woman do is she's going to start arguments over small issues for absolutely no reason whatsoever, right? So when a woman's logged out, the reason why she's starting these small arguments is to push you away, right? She knows that that breakup is inevitable, right? So she wants to feel as less guilty as she possibly can, right? She doesn't want to feel any guilt when she's breaking up with you because maybe you're a nice guy. Maybe you've given her what she's always wanted, but it's not enough. You're not satisfying hypergamy. So what does she do? She starts arguments about dumb shit that don't even need arguments in the first place, right? She'll say shit like, oh, things have just changed, right? Things just feel different, right? And you're sat there and you're thinking, nothing's fucking changed. Nothing's changed about me. If anything, things have got better, right? But little do you know, things have changed in her head, right? And the reason she's starting these little bickers, the reason this manipulation tactic is so common is because she wants to feel less guilt when she dumps your ass. When you start to notice a girl starting arguments for absolutely no reason whatsoever, right, it's time to go, right? It's time to leave that relationship because you've got to understand that once a woman has broken up with you in her head, there is absolutely nothing that you can do about it, right? There's no reviving the relationship, it's done. And the best real solution, right, the best thing you can do is leave on your own terms, right? And start focusing on bettering your own life, right? Start focusing on leveling up your own life, right? That is the best possible outcome. You're not going to get her back no matter what you do, no matter if you argue with her, no matter if you beg her, right? All that stuff just makes you like a dickhead, right? Don't do it. If you liked today's video, drop it a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more. I love you.